All right. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, they're asking us to identify the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. But we don't have this in that format. So the main important thing I want you guys to understand about this is whenever you guys see a binomial squared, remember, guys, and here's what I was trying to remind you guys from last class. Remember how we go from standard to vertex form? Standard to vertex form. The process of doing standard vertex form was completing the square. So I have it in this format. We want to write it in this conic section vertex form. So what I simply need to do is, again, complete the square. So what you guys notice is, first of all, that the x, um, if we want to complete the square, we, we, we want to look for whatever is squared currently and create a perfect square trinomial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything away from the x squared plus the 2x. Now, you guys could see that we have this as in kind of standard form, right? A x squared plus b uh, x plus c. But we don't have a c there, right? We don't have a c. So what we need to do is we need to create a c that's going to complete the square. So if you guys remember that, we just take b divided by 2 and square it. 2 divided by 2 squared. One, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So what we do is we take that value and we add it to both sides. Does everybody see that? Now by completing the square, what we did is now we created a perfect square trinomial. And what's nice about perfect square trinomials is they can be factored into binomial squared. Now we should be able to also understand that this is technically in parentheses, and there's a 1 in front of there. That's going to be helpful because vertex is h comma k, right? So now, do you guys see how now this is in that format? Right? So now that I kind of put parentheses, I put a 1 in front of there, now I can just figure everything out. Vertex is h comma k. So in this case, is going to be negative 1, 2. Notice how it's x opposite of h, x opposite of k. So it's opposite of the 1, opposite of negative 2. Did everybody see that? OK. Um, before we go ahead and find, um, before we find the focus or the vert, uh, directrix, we need to figure out the value of p. So therefore, we can say that 4p is equal to 1. Therefore, p is equal to 1 fourth. Yes? Now, first of all, let's look at this. The variable squared is x. So that means the graph opens up and down, right? Since p is positive, the graph is going to open up, right? So again, I would recommend sketching this. Graph looks something like this. So the distance from the focus to my uh, distance from my vertex to my focus is 1 fourth. Right? So all I'm going to do is take my vertex, but then add 1 fourth. Well, I'm adding 1 fourth to which coordinate? The x or the y coordinate? The y coordinate, right? Because the focus and the directrix have to be on the same um, axis symmetry. So my focus is going to be negative, or it's going to be, if you guys remember in your formulas, h comma k plus p which is negative 1 comma 2 plus, plus 1 fourth, which would be 9 fourths. Or you could use a decimal. And then to find the directrix, I now need to subtract, right? I'm now subtracting negative 1 fourth. And then that's going to produce a horizontal line, right? So therefore, a horizontal line representing a horizontal line should be x equals or y equals? Uh, y equals, because the y value is going to be where that at. So therefore, that's going to be y equals k minus p. So k, again, is 2 minus 
1 fourth. So that's going to be y equals 7 fourths. Everybody see, agree, have any questions?